honestly, I can't stand this misery any longer. It's been raining for weeks, so I think I'm just going to embrace the grey, get outside and take some photographs. <laughs> So Embrace the Grey is a hashtag that's promoted by fellow YouTuber and thoroughly nice bloke Julian Baird and the whole concept is that we should take the opportunities of going out and taking photographs even when we think the weather is telling us not to. So I decided to come into the woods again to, uh, to embrace the grey. So why have I come into the woods on a grey day? Well, ordinarily the woods are quite contrasty places with uh, the shadows in the undergrowth being really dark and the sky and the highlights being really bright. But when it's grey like this, it's much easier to balance the exposure. And so I'm going to try and take advantage of that, whilst also trying to put into practice some of the tips that I gave in my last video. So I spotted this jumble of birch trees from the main path and I had to come into the wood a little bit from the path in order to get more of a clear view and if you saw my last video uh, where I gave some tips on woodland composition um, I mentioned sticking with the thing that caught your eye and this is an example of that actually because if I'd taken an image from the path it would just look too messy and I wouldn't really have captured the thing that I saw and what I did see was just this consistent pattern of the vertical trees now they're all very close together now I'm taking this shot actually because of one of the comments on that video from a guy called Mally he's got his own channel actually I'll link it there but he said that one of his tips in woodland photography is to look out for patterns and here there's this streaking pattern that's created by the trees and that's what caught my eye so coming through the jumble to see this pattern has actually allowed me to focus more on that um, the other patterns within this as well, which I've noticed since trying to set up my composition, is that there's a lot of uh, spring growth, so a few new leaves appearing on the branches, and they're creating this kind of dotted pattern all the way throughout the image. It might not come up on the main one or the larger image that I end up producing, but it again does catch your eye as you're looking into the scene. The composition that I'm doing, there's actually um, a birch tree that's slightly different to the others. It's got a few more uh, branches sticking out from it that are, maybe it's a slightly older tree as well. So it breaks up that pattern and that's another thing that's going to catch, catch your eye as you look at the image. So those are the sorts of things that our eyes are drawn to and it's just about drilling down and finding those, uh, those details. <laughs> If I talk you through the composition that I'm going for here, I'm framing it knowing that I'm going to crop it quite heavily. I'm going to go for quite a wide panoramic so that the pattern of the trees really stands out. I'm going to cut off all the bottoms of the trees and completely cut out the sky and then it will just be a few distinct trees that break up the pattern a little bit that will stand out with the one with the branches that I mentioned um, sitting roughly on a third or uh, one of the fire lines if you're talking about the golden ratio. stopped raining but it's left the paths incredibly muddy but I'm heading to a place to demonstrate another one of my points about storytelling uh, at a location that I found a week or so ago the only problem is that the path to get there looks like this 
I'm not sure how I'm going to cross it. Here's plan B. Cross the stream that's feeding the flood on a narrow, slippery log. Okay. Nearly. Yes! <laughs> This twisted oak tree caught my eye a few weeks ago when I was having a walk through here with my daughter. We built a house over there actually. But it caught my eye because of the way that the light was catching the green moss and it really illuminated it. So I came and investigated it a little bit closer and then there was a story that started to unfold in front of me because there's a fir tree that is, uh, is laying on the ground right next to it here. And to me, it was almost as if the fir tree had been felled by its more old and wise opponent that was standing above it and so the image that I'm going to capture now is something that is perhaps uh, based on a very famous image and I might not be able to show you that image um, because of copyright reasons however uh, I will possibly explain once we get round to it. But before I do tell you why don't you put your guess of what image I'm talking about in the comments below and, uh, and see if you're right in a minute. One of the most iconic images that there ever was and a really great photograph that tells a story is one of the greatest sportsmen in the world captured by Neil Leifer and that's where Muhammad Ali is standing over Sonny Liston and you might have already guessed that but thanks very much for watching I hope you got something out of this video I'm afraid I have to cut it a little bit short because I had an unexpected incident with the camera I used for video It's the second time that's happened to me actually and I hope I can get it fixed. Don't forget to like, share and comment and why not head out and embrace the grey yourself sometime. See you in the next one.